Hello, it is me. It's Puppy, Joanna, you know what it is. We're streaming until there's noise outside. There's been noise usually a couple of times throughout the week. Can't do anything about it. We're gonna do this quest. Here's the thing. If I can get you the quest, if we can get you this quest, I don't know what the fuck that is. If we can get you this quest without noise happening and finish it, that'd be great. There's a lot of cutscenes on it. I don't know. If we don't, we can't. And I may just do it while I'm half muted, unmuting. I don't know. We'll see. That's it. That's all we can do. This is a side quest updated in 6.2. Uh, this will have 6.2 spoilers, obviously, of the MSQ. Because you can only access this quest after that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I got my cool ass helmet. Ah, oh, Mr. Joanna, you couldn't have appeared at a better time. You see, while I'll patrol in the city, I just decided to send. Uh, that's just my friend. She's in there, having some good times. I immediately chased it down in the intent of eliminating it, but something about it struck me as odd. For one, it made no move to defend itself, but simply sat there, uh, juggling. Which is why, against my better judgment, I decided to capture it instead. Having traveled to the void, I dare say you have considered knowledge of the denizens. If you have a moment, I might trouble you with your opinion on creatures' unusual behavior. Sure, let me just look. I'm truly grateful. Now, if you follow me, the creature is being held in the Hall of the Radiant Host. I can't believe this dude just kept, kept a void scent. So, already quest line is weird uh there is a void scent going on just walking around minding its own business doing nothing to be honest good for it good for them that's where i get the roll quest it is where no that's a different place hello the void scent glowers in your direction but says nothing I'm gonna take this off for the cutscenes. Even though I look amazing in it. This firing is gonna distract me, baby. I should also take that off. Here it is! Surprisingly docile. Even when I captured it, and there have been no reports of attacks prior to that. Even so, the nature of the woods and to prey on people for the eight, or perhaps it bites its time when to carry out some manner of scheme. Can I poke it in the eye? You! I remember you! Yes, you are a troyer. Please, you must help me! Okay, I can talk. That's for sure. Hey, second. I don't like the shoulder pads. You know what? Yeah, shoulder pads a bit much. The, I think the Ring of Fire in cutscenes is a little funny. You were at the castle? I didn't even see you at the castle. There were a lot of voids in there. Indeed, I was! But I've since fled here. How did you get here? I understand the mortal tongue well enough, but I don't have a mouth to produce the sounds. It's been a struggle to convey my thoughts. But not anymore. You can help me. Yes, you can! Uh, yeah, they want help to go do something. You can converse with the Void Scent? Amazing! Could you ask it why it came here? Yeah, why, why are you here, buddy? Little, little bow. When you and you stormed the castle, I was caught up in the fighting and died. In time I returned, but I tire of fighting. So I fled, using the gates to your world. Having just been reborn, however, my essence hadn't fully bound together yet. And so when I emerged from the gate, it was several hundred selves. Ah, uh, fun. Frightened and confused, they scattered. Following their trail led me here, my diminutive size allowing me to remain largely unseen. By the, by, by the same token, I can do a little more than sneak about. Each of us was weak and powerless. That's why we consumed one another in the first place. Together we were strong. I want you to help me find all of me so that I can be whole again. You want me to help find all the pieces so you can be strong and hurt people more. Yes, I would totally do that. Are you insane? What do you tend to do in this world? When you are strong? Well, I live here, of course. I've always wanted to. But you need eater to survive. I mean, I guess you could eat apples. If you really think about it. If we still remember the past, you see. 
still remember when we were mortals. We long to have that life again, but we need your help. Starting by reuniting us. We won't try to devour anyone, even when we're whole, I swear. Only a part of you swears. What if the other parts are lying? Or, or don't swear to that. You wish to learn more about the Void, yes? There is much we can teach you about the those who rule its domains. About their past. Find the others and they'll tell you all they know. No eating, no tricks. Do we have a bargain? Fine. That sounds about right. Well, it is technically a bargain. If he backs out of it, I guess he can't. And that would be disgraceful. So it crossed over to our world to escape conflict? And now searches for the rest of itself. I understand voids are quite reliable when it comes to fulfilling a pact. And I dare say having one as now, I would benefit our research into their world. Very well. If you would be so kind as to search for its kin, I will consult my superiors and help us to deal with them. Leave it to me. By that, I take it we have a bargain. Good, good. I sense four others close by. When you find them, you need only point them in this direction. Once they sense my presence, I can guide them the rest of the way. Oh, the music has already started. I thought I'd have more time. No, it's not that loud. I mean, if I point the mic away. Only when it gets really loud will I maybe just immediately stop the stream. I don't know. I, I, I didn't expect it to happen now. Oh, well. What's that? I asked you to search for me in exchange for knowledge about the powerful void set. I was still waiting to see this and that. But I suppose a deal is a deal. Those are burned over there. Soldiers, are they not? We used to have soldiers in our world too, but they there were lots of them during the Contra Memoria. Okay, I think it's good. I have to close the window. Weaver's warding, are you? I hear you fought well against the void that slipped you. Come now. I'm merely in my duty. Haven't we all sworn to protect our nation no matter the cost? They got that tombstone gear on. Protect our nation? How familiar those words. How was it I heard them? Your old times when you were not filled with darkness. Ah, yes. It was the early days of the Contra Memoria. The enemy had conjured terrible Eidolon that had laid siege to a fortress. The garrison was made up of ordinary soldiers, men and women, with no remarkable abilities, but led their valiant commander they fought bravely and desperately. They had to last until the Memoria arrived. The commander told them they needed to hold out no matter the cost. The Memoria did eventually arrive, but not soon enough for the soldiers. Huh. So you used to be in the garrison. And, oh no. Having struck down the Adalon, the Memoria and his servant reached the castle for, survive, searched the castle for survivors. They only found the dead. But 
But just when they had given up all hope, a faint groaning reached their ears. They rushed over to the sound and cleared away the breeze. To find the lone survivor, the garrison commander. Instead of joy, however, the sight of the man filled them with anger. Your soldiers were slaughtered to a man, yet there's barely a scratch on you! What's the meaning of this? Uh oh. The Adelon was savage but mindless. It was a simple thing to hide myself beneath the fallen debris. So you just hid while everyone was dying. Good, good job, buddy. Hide? As a commander, you built. You had a duty to your men. You were supposed to put their lives before your own. Spare me. My duty was to ensure the fortress stood, and it did. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of dead bodies here, but I mean, come on. It's still up. As long as death would have achieved nothing. I ought to be damned. No, I'm sworn to protect our nation. And to do that, I must live. It isn't, it isn't my fate to fall here. It isn't your fate, you say? Uh-oh. He's just like, all right, fuck you. Oh! Fuck. That's kind of deserved. He's a bit of a coward. You see? Merely unconscious. Come. Let us bury the soldiers and the commander with them. The fate shall decide what becomes of him, whether he lives or dies. Very well, my lord. Harsh punishment. Not accurate. Uh, yeah. yeah. We buried him alive. He lived! Funeral rites were later held for the fallen, but solemn tears quickly gave way to horrified screams as a body emerged from the earth. The commander. I can't die. I must live. The man is said to have declared. The people thought him a demon. A disheveled horror, muttering curses as he wandered off to regions unknown. Scarmillion, they called him. Oh, shit. Wow. A name befitting his new found grisly visage. A name befitting a monster. Oh, this is gonna give me, like, the backstory on the Four Lords' lives. The Four Lords? My bad. No, that's still it. That's, that's the Four Bosses. No, the Four... The Four Fiends. We thought we buried him deep. But a moral desire to live is not to be underestimated. You're immortal, so I expect you to understand that desire. The lore. Well, that concludes my tale. I'd best rejoin myself, if you'll excuse me. That's him moving. Uh, what is up there by... Come on. Hello, buddy. My other self grows lonely, you say? My apologies, I was intent to seek out the others, but I was distracted by a bickering pair of mortals yonder. My goodness, but there's been some colorful language. Oh, it's learning language, it's learning fantastic new words. Tells with your father. I shouldn't need his permission to just leave the god's damn house. Please, mind your language. What would father say if he heard you? Oh, it's always father this, father that with you. I'm sick of it. You and your own woman now. Bloody act like we're one for a change. Colorful language, yes. Not from the girl, though. Oh, no, she appears to be quite well-bred. Right. Okay. I just hope she's happier than the girl I knew long, long ago. Look at that lady. That girl was born into a family of thugs who suddenly found themselves nobility. She was raised as a noblewoman, 
and had servants tending to her every need. But in the end, she was merely a beautiful bird kept in a gilded cage. Wanting her to be a proper lady, her parents presided all over all aspects of her life. They decided everything for her, telling her what to say and do. Chafing from the fetters of her restricted life, she solicited her handmaiden's aid and stole outside the manor, where she enjoyed a moment of bliss, unbeknownst to her parents, or so she thought. It was not long before her father dragged her back to her room, barring the door and windows, denying her even the simple pleasure of an afternoon breeze. Even a bird in a cage may chirp freely, but she wasn't even suffered to give voice to her desires. Breathing? I don't want to think about it. But she wouldn't be deterred. Having once tasted sweet freedom, she yearned for more. And one day, she succeeded in sneaking out of the manor a second time. You're late. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. If you're expecting your friends, I'm afraid they're not coming. Oh no, it is her dad. <laughs> Thunder just hidden at this moment. Father, how did you... What, do you... what do you mean they're not coming? I had known that some miscreants were cavorting in these parts. I think that they dared try to consort with my daughter. Well, you need to worry about them anymore. Their food for the fishes. Now, you murdered them? Buddy, it's a bit extreme, don't you think? <gasps> How could you do this, father? Why must you torment me so? Know your place, girl. You are means for our family to gain influence. And I won't have you selling yourself with riffraff. Oh, man, riffraff. That's a pretty strong language. You will not leave your chambers, save with my permission, nor will you disobey me again. If you do so, there will be severe consequences. Am I understood? I said, am I understood? Uh, I think you're about to understand that she's gonna maybe stab you. To hell. What did you say? Uh oh. Oh, oh goodness, where'd you get that? Wah! There's no blood in this PG-13 game. I said go to hell. God! Ugh. That's a big hatchet. Well, that happened. Oh, to think that it could be so exhilarating to speak my mind, to do so as I please. No more living in a cage. From this moment on, I am free, free as the wind. And then she committed murders. The young woman struck out on her own, and in her travels discovered her true calling. Not in the halls of lords and ladies, but on the battlefield. She became a force of nature. Aimed for her striking beauty, which belied her a terrible savagery. And with this new life, she also claimed a new name. Babariccia. Damn, you got murked. Indeed, she found her freedom. But did she also find happiness, I wonder? I guess so. She was happy. During the trial, she was. I suppose I'll never know. Nor does it matter. But the world that once was is no more. Oh, but goodness me, I'd better rejoin the others. Alright. Next is the airship landing. What a interesting story. 
It, it fits that character. Quite well, I'd say. I don't actually go here that much. One in the airship landing, though, that's funny. It's trying to fly out of here. There's someone else doing this. What a refreshing breeze! Hey, what up? Tell me about the other ones that I don't know about. I'm here to- I'm to return the others! Bah! They should come here! Would you look at this beautiful boundless sky? More will stick to the air from here, do they not? What if I had wings to soar among the clouds myself? But we boards are not to want to roam, you see. The mightiest among us carve out domains, while the rest labor to stay in their good graces. Now the master of a domain seldom ventures outside, for it is one's territory that one is strongest. For some, however, such confinement proved tire trying, as was the case for the certain voids that I knew. Oh! I speak of the free-spirited terror, Barbariccia. When she first established her domain, she wiled away the days, waiting for her minions to bring her prey. The eight to amass from these offerings were devoted to a singular pleasure of caring for her silky, flowing locks. But the resources of her domain were not without her their limits. It was only when none remained to oppose her that she realized she was a prisoner in her own domain. And unless she broke free, she would inevitably wither away alone. Not knowing what to do, she had fallen into the depths of despair. When the hand of salvation came to pull her out. At this rate, my precious hair would frazzle and fray. Having only the strength to leave my domain. If strength is your desire, that is easily granted. Hey, it's gold base. Who are you? Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, so much power surging through me. And what will you do with it? What is it you desire? What I desire. What I desire is. Become like my inspiration, Garuda. You would move your very own domain. Impressive. That I can do such a thing. What have you done to me? I granted you either. Nothing more. It was your will that made it possible. My will. Even so, no matter where you should go, there is naught but darkness. What could your destination possibly be? Destination? I have no need of such. I wish but to be free. Like the wind. In a world that has met its end, rare indeed is the soul who desires freedom. So ardently that she could will her very domain to move. Recognizing this quality, the knight would grant her more power and a place of command in his mighty army. How do you know all this stuff? I guess you just picked up on a lot of news. Are you important to them? A story worthy for our bargain, I trust. I might have had more to tell had I not fallen off her domain. It seems you mortals also have a fondness for flying. I'd certainly like to try riding one of those airships of yours. But perhaps another time. My other selves would be blubbering mess if I don't hurry and rejoin them. Alright, one more story. I thought it was going to be about the other four fiends, but it makes sense that it's not. Since we don't know anything about them. I'm assuming this is another story about Scarmelion. 
Hello? There he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? So this is where immortals consume ether. It's called a restaurant. Dreading loneliness more than hunger. How about you like me? If you don't mind, though, I'd like to observe the mortals a while longer. <laughs> the food here is simply sublime. Why, I feel stronger with every bite. As if Mar Marka themselves were going to meet her blessing. The food is tasty, that's true enough. But no food is sublime as to be a substitute for proper training, my friend. Strong with every bite, every feed. For my part of the bargain, I will tell you about how we voids them become strong. Simply put, it depends on the quality and quantity of the ether we harbor. When the world was consumed by darkness, the heroes known as Memoriates arose a powerful void scent. As part. That's probably what it. In contrast, the vast majority of mortals, powerless and unremarkable as they were, became ordinary voids in. Like me! There were exceptions, of course. But one in particular I'll never forget. What the hell are those slugs? Those rocks? Scarmillion. Never had I seen a voids in so craven. Even when pushed to the brink of starvation, he would prey only on those weaker than himself. He subsisted on scant leavings and lived in constant fear and hunger. Gross. In the face of danger, of avoids and struggled it himself. Fleeing was the only option. But a day came when he found his way barred. Looks like a lion. How pitiful. Who the fuck you calling pitiful? Oh god, he's tall! S such overwhelming heat! Who is this? You fled instead of facing your foe, why? Fuck that! I'm too weak! Why else I would have been devoured? So had you enough strength, you would have stood your ground? Very well done. I like how he's like, nah, pitiful creature. I give it to him. Is there a vetting process? Does he just sort of like look and, and guess? Like, all right, this one, sure. Why not? What's happening? Yes, I feel it. The power swelling within me. Lo, your foe returns. Oh, great. Now I can run away even faster. Fuck this. What have you done to me? I rendered you but a sliver of eater. It was the power you already possessed that you defeated your foe. I possess such power? Fear had clouded your eyes, blinded you to the strength you had attained, feeding on the weak. If you would free yourself from fear and join me, you shall have a greater cause to live and no true power. Curious how in a world without death, the fear of it could be the key to great strength. Then I recognized this, recognized the Voidson's potential, and thus did he take him into his service. Sadly, he's known as the weakest of them all, but like still, I mean, I guess, I guess he made a name for himself. Determined as he is to live, it wouldn't surprise me if we were still somewhere out there. He'd be even more powerful now. I expect from all the devouring he would have done since, unlike your world, eating actually makes you stronger in ours. Well, I must be going now. The others are waiting. You have found the last of the voids. So time to head back to the Hall of the Radiant Host.
I mean, he's trapped in a crystal, so I guess he isn't out there. Ah, oh, he is just trapped in a crystal forever. Unless that's like death. You... I wonder if you break the crystal, he'll break out. Not sure. Well, either way, you got your, your buddies back. Look at them all. Thank you so much for finding me. I hope the knowledge I had to share was worthy of our agreement. How did you come to know the Archfiends? That's my question. My other selves lived quite disparate lives, both as mortals and void scent. Though I suppose it's rather fortuitous that they cross paths with such powerful void scent. But more importantly, what they could offer was worthy of our bargain. For that I am glad. I guess it was just you all were in different places at, at the same time. All that remains now is for us to rejoin and become whole again. Alright, everybody, time to fuse. Huh? Is is this not all of me? Uh, something tells me this will be updated in the future. There could be no other explanation. There's still, still more of me lost out there. Somewhere. But I don't sense them. Where could they have gone? Could they still be in the void? I mean, there's more of them wandering about. By the sisters. Well, at the very least, if what you say is true, they pose no threat to the people. Until the others can be found, we will keep these five under our care. Make them a little pen. I can bring them to my... To my island sanctuary. Now, since the others are nearby, I hope we can count on you to find them too. And that's the lore. For now. This quest will probably be updated. As the patches come out. And we beat the trials. Would you tell us of your recent ventures when you next return? I promise to make it worth your while. Cool. Well. I wanted to do a Tadu quest. But I think, again, my neighbors are, I think, being louder now. And there's a little block muscle in the noise. Maybe I should have talked to a quest for another day. What is that fire red bat? What the fuck is that? Oh, I think it's a... Sudo's mask? I feel like that's in, uh... 61 dungeon? Could be wrong. Cool outfit, though. I'm deciding whether or not to end stream just now because it's gonna get louder probably and uh, I'll be able to do that at least. Let's look at the mender though. Wait, I've been sick all day today. It's been it's been a time. Actually, you know what? We got an estate timer. We can go look at that. Let's go look at the timer. Is it ready? I just don't remember if it is. That's the results are in progress. We can go see if we actually won it. What was it again? Uh, 11th Ward 190. Right, let's go see. I doubt it, but hey, maybe if I stream it, it will bring me luck. What was it again? I literally read it just now. 
25. 11 sword. Oh, okay. No, I thought it was 25th ward. I was like, what? There's still 25 wards. And it's owned. Let's go get our money. Good for them though. They won. Yeah. The demand is too much. Uh, where's 25 again? I feel like it was up there. Can't zoom in. Hang on. The numbers are hard to see. Six twenty-two. What the fuck? What type of numbering system? Also, how is this numbering system? It's insane. Like, goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty. Oh my god! Oh, there's twenty-five. It's under Imperium Northeast. I don't understand. Maybe they won't build it in time. That's 28. 25's on there. Whoop! Is it? Yeah. Yo, winning number is 45. I think it was 190. <laughs> it's a private home. Oh, you can go into the back in the front yard, though. Damn, they built all this already? Yeah, good for them. I kind of want to do the rising event. I never did. I didn't do that at all. So we could do that instead of the Tataru one. Let's see how the noise goes. That's Samurai. Could we unlock Samurai? I kind of actually want to do that as well. I kind of need a DPS to level. Level 50. Wait, level 50? It starts at 50? I thought it was at 60. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why would you give me a 50? I oh, this is what? Huh? Ah, fuck, you know what, no power not, we're gonna start, no, well, actually, no, I should do the rising event, because I will never get a chance to do it if I, if I, do, if I wait on that. I just don't know where it is. Newfound Journey, is that it? That sounds like it. Oh, the Wandering Minstrel, yeah, that is it. Hey, yo, what up, Wandering Minstrel? There he is! Conquer. Rule. Sounds evil. Oh, if it isn't my dear adventure friend, please am I to see you again. Have you perchance to come join us in remembering the calamity? Sure. If you have a moment, there is a favor I would ask of you. Will you not hear me out? Sure. Why not? In part due to the promotional efforts during the recent Moonfire Fair, 
more people are seeking to take up adventuring. Not all are here yet wise in the ways of the world, however, I fear they might fall prey to less principled types in Old Dark. You know how it is in Balmum. If one such as you were to help them on their way, I would feel more at ease. What say you? Will you not take a fledgling adventurer under your wing? I'm truly grateful. Now, I believe a carriage is due to arrive shortly. If you go and wait at the gates of Null, chances are a soul will wander in who has just embarked on the path of an adventure. Play, pray greet them and offer your help. Worry not, you'll have no trouble in identifying them. You need to look for someone absorbed in their surroundings. <laughs> I dare say it will be like glimpsing into the past, right to the part where you were greeted by a helpful stranger. Wymond, I remember that. I actually started out in Old Law. gonna lean on this you know. yep this is how I remember it <laughs> just like the cutscene <laughs> that's really great And you hear an old British man talking. Welcome to Eorzea. And this is the part where the tutorials show up. My firing is clipping through the wall. Hey, yo, dude. What up? I believe this was what he said. God, I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, adventure over here! It's like, oh my god, it's a ring of fire, what the fuck? Who, who are you? Yeah, what up? I'm you, but better. Experience adventure, you say? And you wanna help me on my way? Well, I could certainly use some guidance, but I have this, a lot of tutorials, like a lot of them. They're all popping up right now. My name is Nagia Jakia, but uh, just call me Nagi will do. And as you rightly guessed, I'm an inspiring adventurer. That's why I left my village and came here. So I understand that you uh, first need to register at the Adventurers Guild. Do you know where it is? Yeah, over there. I know the girl over there. She's cool. Just go over straight to her. Ignore everybody else. Just through that door. Is it? Thank you. I had to hear her at once. Actually, I... Actually, in this cutscene, you, in, you're still in an instance, and it's only until you talk to her that does everyone else appear. Nagi rushes off before you could further give offer further explanation. Perhaps you should follow him into the quicksand. So yeah, let's get rid of the fire gear. Should I put on my Oh dude, what if I put on the Viera outfit? I'm not doing that. Well, I'll just with Arbor. With this checkerboard axe. This is as close as I'm going to get to nostalgic feelings. In and out. In and out. Come on, Nagi, you can do it. Oh, it's you again. To be honest, I'm quite nervous. It's hard to have you here, too. Hello, Mamori. This here is Nagi. Why, hello there. What can I do for you today? The lad's here to register, is he? Yes, madam. I wish to join the Adventurers Guild. My name is Nagia Jakya, and I'm 16 years old. Practically a man grown. Uh huh. Aren't we a lively one? It's 16? Mamodi's a name, and if you want to be an adventurer, then you've come to the right woman. There's nothing to it, really. You just need to write your name and to register. 
Come, come. Do note that any vulgarities will be banned by Square Enix, or at least we'll ask you to change your name. With that, you're officially a member of the Avengers Guild. If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bother me every time you stab your bloody toe, alright? Oh, she said that before. Of course, I do enjoy hearing a tale of a gentleman's woes from the woman folk from time to time. <laughs> now then, normally I'd offer you the Grand Tour. But in light of recent company, present company, I reckon you want to have it from her. She's a renowned adventurer after all, the bleeding champion of Eorzea. And you could do far worse than get to get her advice. Hey, yo, what up? I'm the bloody bleeding champion of Eorzea. To begin with, mayhap you could recommend a guild here in Ulda for Nahi to join. Flashbacks to Pugilist. Uh, I would say Paladin is probably best. If it's too noisy in here, there are benches just outside where you can have a nice little chat. All right. That's true. Lady love a man who could fist. That's why I played monk. Well, for 80 levels. All right. I must confess, choosing a guild is quite daunting. I'd appreciate any advice you can offer. The following event cannot be skipped. Got it. Alright, let's talk to guilds. I'm all ears, Joanna. <laughs> Why do you want to become an adventurer? I'm not sure it was in carriage with me. Uh, Bree something? Oh, that dude. Uh, ask me much the same thing. At the time, I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a reason for leaving home, of course, but I couldn't express it in words. But having now set foot in Old Ah, it's become clear in my mind. It's because there's like a, a level 60 trial to this game. It, it's for free. It's pretty insane. So uh, I guess that's why. You know, free is pretty good. I want to know what lay behind the horizon. I want to see with my own eyes and then miss it. Even in many places, right? You like it then? Traveling, that is? It's fun. I would like a house. <laughs> I do love the drill of seeing the new sights. So you do, so you do. I have an older sister. During the calamity, we fled Gudani and took refuge in a village in the mountains. I ended up staying in that secluded place. It's been long been a dream of mine to travel the world. But inexperienced as I am, I don't know if I could live life on the road. Is there a guild that can help equip me with the skills I need? Well, I don't know any crafting gatherers. Listen, kill your food. That's how I do it. You need a fish? Stab it with a sword. I see a place where I can learn to protect myself and others. If I recall correctly, Ulda is home to the Pugilists and Dermaturge's guild. Of the two, I would choose a Pugilist. Are you... Did this game, like, look at my memory and realize what guild I chose first? Or is this what he says all the time? <laughs> I've always enjoyed vigorous exercise, and I'm quite confident in my physical abilities. Yes, I believe this is the guild for me. I'll go and join at once. I can show you the guild if you like. I know the people in there. Thanks for your concern, but I should be fine. If you still have time, though, could we meet again afterwards? There are a few more things I'd like to ask you about. Okay, kid. Off you go. Great, I'll look for you when I'm done. And if any, anyone starts selling gold to you, 
It's lies. There is no easy way to make gill. Don't click any of those websites. You wait a good while, but there's no sign of Naki. Perhaps you should look on him and the Pugilus Guild. Where is he? Oh, it's a real ass new adventure. <laughs> that or it's an alt. They don't have one. Good for them. Believe it was. Oh, it seems inside now. Getting myself mixed up here. Oh, yeah, it's this way. No, so dumb. Oh, it's Wymond. Hey, Wymond. Come on! That was the most impressive display, young one. Watching you remind remind of my youth, swift, strong, and handsome. Not to say I'm not these things anymore, of course. You're too kind, Master Haman, and I'm sure you're still all those things and more. Don't butter him up, please. No, no, Naki. Take care you don't flatter the old man over much. His neck couldn't bear his head any larger. Low. Oh, Joanna. I'm glad to say that pugilism agrees with me. My thanks for your recommendation. Well, now, Joanna. I think that you're the one who's a Nagi to us. The lad possesses a rare trait, and I look forward to watching him grow in the art. Mm -hmm. Right then, my boy. Remember today's lesson. Eh, well, and keep it at your training. Next time, we shall try something a little harder. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. So engrossed I was I in the combinations. I lost track of time. Uh, oh, should I? I should mention something. As I was training, a particular min, peculiar minstrel approached me. He said that if I'm resolved to walk an adventurous path, I should seek him out for a task. Listen to his songs, do extremes, and all that. He's kind of insane. Moreover, he asks that you accompany me if you're willing. He's apparently waiting at the Ruby Road Exchange. See you later, YouTube. What if you started Gridania? Does it like, take you to Gridania to do this? I hope so. Hey, what up, buddy? My friend, you've done a splendid job as a god. I was right to entrust the task to you. What? You mean to Joanna approach me at your behest? She did, I must confess. You see, for my next composition, I seek to capture the essence of the times. While any number of subjects would be worthwhile, the greatest interest to me is the recent rise in ranks of adventurers. And thus bringing different generations of adventurers together, I'd hoped for inspiration to strike. And I'm pleased to say that it has. I'm making more money from this game than ever. I'm the biggest earner at Square Enix. Those motherfuckers have to do whatever I say. <laughs> I mean, drawing upon your experience walking your path. You have helped Nagi to begin walking his. A reminder that the present owes its existence to the past. That is to say, the present and the past are deeply entwined. You would capture the former, we cannot well disregard the latter. And this brings me to my next request. I ask that you each find an object with a connection to the calamity. The event which gave rise to the realm's rebirth and presented to me with a tale. Well, that sounds not unlike a treasure hunt. And it'd be my very first task as an adventurer. What do you say, Joanna? Shall we do it? Sure, finding things. Excellent. When you have your items, pray seek me out in the Ruby Road Exchange. I eagerly look forward to seeing what you bring. 
There are many vendors at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, right? Chance, so they'll have something. So let's begin our search there. Alright. Go buy stuff. I would teleport over there, but I can just walk literally here. There's a pig over there. Is that porgy? Probably. Welcome to the markets. Come on, let's begin looking around. Nagi Jake will be accompanying you. I know what this is. Give me the entire tutorial. This is where you buy food. They have all great things here. Oh, this is local cuisine? Goodness, but everything looks amazing. In the course of your journeys, you must have sampled all kinds of food. From simple fare to exotic feasts. I look forward to sampling everything too. What you got from the calamity? Welcome, welcome. What is it you're after? Well, I've taken a collection of calamity. You say, "Why well, I have just the thing, an amethyst string from Ishgard, steeped in sentimental value. Five years ago, on the eve of the Battle of Kartano, a young Temple Knight set out from his homeland, wishing to do his part for Eorzea, when his nation would not. The last man never arrived in the flats. On route, he came upon a merchant being attacked by a dragon and lost his life, going to the stranger's aid. This was his ring, an heirloom passed down to his line. What a tragic tale. But I wonder how did the ring find its way back? If the night fell, it seems the merchant couldn't have survived unscathed. Um, uh, 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 I remember now. Though the knight was mortally wounded, he succeeded in striking out a dragon. And with his last breath, he entrusted the ring to the merchant. Yes, that's how it happened. Are you lying to us? Uh, so what do you say? If you're interested, I would be willing to part with it for a relic for a special price. But for today only. This feels a little dubious. This guy's out of line to us. Shall we look around some more? There's bound to be other things out there. Is that an actual quest line in 1.0? I don't know. Probably. Never played it. I feel like that's familiar. I know there's a night quest line that's actually connected to the 51 dungeon. Like a knight from there in 1.0, but then like bad shit happened to him. Depressing stuff. Oh, if it isn't Joanna, how have you been, my friend? I'm still working at my craft, as you can see. And for the rising this year, Aston is organizing the street exhibit for me. Please, feel free to browse at your leisure. And don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. We're looking for objects that bear a connection to the Calamity. Do you have anything that fits the description? As a matter of fact, I do. The other page entitled the, the Insultana 7 depicts an inspiring event from the Calamity. How do you have that? It was the final days before the fall of Dalamud, its exonerable approach foretelling our impending doom. Panic spread like wildfire, while many in their desperation turned to the Sultanate, looting and riding book out of Kresuldar. To quell the ma masses, Her Royal Majesty Namnamo Udnamo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects. They alone had the courage to stand with her Sultana. There, she addressed the rabble. You see, you see, uh, Papa Sean is right there, there's Pippin. Some of the dermaturges. That's pretty rad. Heed me, belo my beloved citizens. The realm lies upon the brink of the Sept Umbral Era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. Brought to their senses by her words, the people laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves inflicted upon Oda. And those who returned from the battlefield found their home as they had left it. A gleaming jewel in the desert. Her Majesty sounds like a great ruler. So true. Fast fortunate to have her watching over it. Thanks for sharing the tale. It's indeed inspiring, and you've done an incredible job capturing in glass. So far so good. Let's look around just a little more. Such a good ruler. 
Also stuck with a bunch of assholes in the syndicate. House of Splendors. What kind of place is this, I wonder? I see you're not familiar with the house. We offer... We offer wares in exchange for scripts, but our services are available only to those whom we know and trust. So if I wanted to be a customer, I need to make a name for myself. One day, Nagi. One day. I don't know how fucking I made a name for myself. They don't trust me. I think that's for crafters and gatherers. Greetings from daily necessities to unusual curios, ideal in all manner of wares. Is there something in particular you seek? You need but ask. Hmm? Objects to do with calamity. And the two of you are adventurers, are you not? In which case, I have something that may be of interest. It's a journal. I acquired it from an adventurer who retired injured. The man recorded his experiences during the calamity in detail. And I dare say it is value for students of history. Oh, an adventurer's first-hand account. I'd love to pour over it. Do you keep a journal of your adventures as well, Joanna? It's so, I'd love to read it one day. Two one day. With your permission, of course. Uh, just don't pay too much attention to Dark Knight 1. That's a lot of me kind of being very... <laughs> just go through, go through it there. A little bit of therapy and writing, you know, uh, experimentation. Oh, for another historical piece, I also have a scrapbook of articles from The Raven. Gridani's leading tabloid. These mainly cover events outside the Calamity, however. Articles from the Raven, you say? Hmm. I guess we've seen enough. Let's find a quiet spot to discuss what to bring back. Over there. Right, this looks as good a spot as any. I don't know about you, but that was all very new and exciting for me. Talking to a myriad of people, learning the tale behind each object, it's been a great experience. And I won't soon forget it. Now then, we need to decide what we want to take to the minstrel. Have you made up your mind? Hmm... Retired Adventures Journal. The Sultan and the Seven's Pain. That's always been used. Gotta go with the classics. Gotta go with something... Well, I gotta go technically the classics. Gotta go with something new. I see, I see. I did consider that too, but in the end, settle on something else. If you don't mind, I'd like to keep it a surprise. Come, let's purchase our respective items and meet back where the minstrel awaits. To obtain the Retired Adventurer's Journal. I wonder, is it in? Yes. I think? No. Secret in the box, Wondrous Tales. Nope. So, uh, this one's, close. this one's kind of closer. Oh, I'm already here. I'm dumb. Hey, buddy. Mr. Minstrel. Oh, go back. You each found an item I trust. Take this journal. It's pretty good, right? And now what do we have here? The Journal of an Adventurer, you say. Despite the vendor's claims, such records typically do not have much historical value on account of their limited perspective and inherent partiality. Yeah, but at the same token, they have a great value to me. But they offer a glimpse into a writer's heart. There's no richer material for penning verses. Now then, 
What of you, young Nagi? And what might this be? It's a scrapbook of articles from the Raven. You see, my sister is a reporter for the tabloid. Your sister? That girl? Oh my god. During the Calamity, she traveled the realm interviewing adventurers about their journeys. And I love nothing more than to hear her tales. They seemed like such a diverse crowd, adventurers. No two people were alike, and yet they were united under free, unshackled lives they lived. It struck a chord with me, and in time I found myself admiring them. Looking back, it was my sister who instilled in me the desire to see the world, to become an adventurer. That's why I chose a scrapbook. I see. The footprints of someone who leaves on their journey become the starting point for another. Oh, I get it. Footprints is the, is the name of the song for Falls. But in, in Japanese, literal translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, get, I get you, buddy. Yes, a verse comes to me. A blessing of those souls who are taking their first chari steps into the unknown. Very lend me your ears. Starts playing answers. Hi, Dylan. Is it you? Oh, my God. So many people. It's all the starting screen people. Hey, that used to be my outfit. That's all the starting outfits. I never even really looked at them that much. Although they only have like... Do they have multiple genders? I only see a cat boy. I don't see a cat girl. Low! Oh my god! Use the power of the void! Greetings, warrior of light. Malky Ushida confirmed to have a void scent. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps or perhaps not. It is a pleasure to meet you again, as I have in the past. I have beckoned you here, that I might express my gratitude. First of all, I wish to thank you for contributing to grace us with your presence. You and your fellow adventurers are our inspiration, and this shall never change. The world, however, is an ever-changing place, mysterious in its elusiveness. Unexpected hardships may turn our lives upside down, and though we all desire peace deep in our hearts, the sparks of conflict never cease to be struck. So true. Like an adventurer's journey, the world is constantly moving towards the unknown, and takes considerable courage, courage to alter its course. And I ardently believe that it is a small but significant step in our quest to create new adventures. Indeed, another great exchange is about to visit the world, and it shall open the way to exciting new journeys. It is our abiding hope that our journey together shall ever continue on, on the distant horizon and beyond. Now the time's come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from its waking dream. Turn to walk in your path. I know that you are in our heart always. Till next we meet, I bid you safe travels. Bye, OCP. Ow, my head! For the generous reward, the uplifting verse, it gives me courage for the road ahead. He had a 30 minute guitar solo, also, that was insane. Speaking of which, it's time I set out on my own, though. Though it was brief, I enjoyed our time together. I hope to see you again somewhere out there. Come what may, never forget to smile.
Although I did want to send him middle one. That, that one's also good too. Like that cat girl. Need to see more of her. No much and more was lost in the calamity. Intrepid souls continue to set forth. Paving a way to the future. In such a moment of history do we stand. And for you, I would perform another song. We're going to have another vision again. Your life is a riddle to blare the gladness and grief. And if the stars through the storms, the answer to see... Is this... Is this answers? <laughs> is this, life is a riddle. Your footprints are dreads to be gathered and woven. A song of dawn resplendent, dancing high to the heavens. From the embrace of the gods, through mankind be torn. Upon winds, eternal lives and memories are born. The future is unwritten, but in rapture or sorrow, our journey shall continue on to tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh, okay, there's a lot of just different songs, song titles in there. You cheeky bastard. Oh, there you go. Last fireworks of summer. I wonder, how did you feel as you watched Nagi set off? Did it fill you with a sight of... Ah, did the sight fill you with worry? For a fledgling adventurer? Or did it awaken fond memories of your own humble beginnings? Whichever it may be, I know that yours is a journey more trying than most. There will be times when you overcome by loneliness, and each step feels heavier than the last. In such a moment, I bid you remember this. So long as you harbor love for this world, ever shall there be a place for you in it. Your adventures will never end. Thank you, Utter Naoki Yoshida. Those are some fancy fireworks. Oh, look at that tag. Yes, I would like the soulless minion. Fantastic. Uh, that was Capybara. That's... I got that somewhere. Design the likeness of Solus Zal... Zos Galvis, founding father of the Galian Empire. This automaton was created in the royal workshops and commemorate the ninth anniversary of his ascension. Several units were dispatched to the provinces as a show of the nation's technological prowess. Go. Is it going? I think I was pressing it multiple times. It wasn't going. Did I get rid of it? My bad. Hang on. Oh, it doesn't really make a, a big noise. There he is. Emmett Squelch. Just a snap. Eh. <laughs> what a dork. Oh, this person's got the robes on? Emmett, look! It's one of your people! This looks very cute. You should do white hair Joanna again. I've been stuck on blue hair for a while. I did Joanna's hair color so many times. What you got? I mean, what you got? I guess you're the vendor. Uh, we got... No, I got a lot of those. Gotta stock up again. Fantastic. There we go. Use this. Beep. 
That's nice. Oh, he's up there. You dude, dude. What you doing? The end of one journey marks the beginning of another. For all those who continue to forge on in a world risen from the ashes, this humble minstrel will offer us all. Nice. Can I get up here? Hang on. Yo, what up? I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you to it. Why- why does the text box get smaller the more you zoom in? That's ridiculous. I always- I always never got that. It's so tiny. Again, on PC, it's probably easier since you like put your face to that that screen uh question is do i continue didn't expect this to be a long stream also my voice was getting a little sore through all of that my phone there Also just chilling, vibing to this song. Ba, 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 ba. Well, well, I, you know, so I was sick in the mostly last night, but I'm feeling a lot better. That being said, I still should rest probably more. So and uh, talking a lot. We'll do my voice in. So as much as I wanted, I could do the Tadru quest line. I don't hear a lot of music out there. I think I could do it. It probably would be... I don't know how long it is, so... Yeah, it is the last thing. Alright. We'll do the Tadru quest line, then we're done. It'll probably be 30 minutes tops. And get to see our old good friends in the... The Shadow of Mach raids. Of Mach. That person's having fun. They were sprouting during it. Boy, that doesn't make any sense. What? Uh, I guess they must have level skipped. Soaring profits! Yo, what up? Why, hello there! Your arrival could not have been more timely. Mistress Taru has but just left instructions for another batch of deliveries. She sends her regards, of course. Today she's in Idleshire for business with Rowena's House of Splendors, and tomorrow will no doubt find her in some other far-flung corner of the realm. We must be outdone, Joanna. This time, our samples are destined for two organizations, and Curtis, an arrangement made possible by none other than Master Sigurd. He contacted his dear friend Lord Emilian in the Fortemps, who was kind enough to spread word of the boutique to his own contacts across Ishgard. Yes, they are they are good friends. Sure. It hardly took any time for the first letter of interest to reach us, and once these samples have been delivered, that interest will be piqued to a passion. Or so I've been assured. Lord Emilian Emanelaine has 
insisted we he will take care of all the particulars and bid me convey with enthusiasm that he looks forward to accompanying you on his deliveries. Now then, regarding that secret mission of ours. There it is! A gorgeous sapphire, is it not? It will make a beautiful necklace once restored. A keepsake of not only Mistress Tatu's mother, but that of her many friends and allies from across the realm. I'm confident that someone of your experience has a most discerning eye for mementos. Bring back anything you think will make a worthy addition. And with that, I will leave these samples in your capable hands and eagerly await your safe return. That music just scared me. It's like it came out of nowhere, like bam, bam, bam. Oh, I gotta go all the way to Ishgard. <laughs> this is a dumb axe. <laughs> this is a checkerboard design. I'm assuming he will be right here. I wonder if we can see his dad. Or the cooler brother. Or Honor Roy. Joanna, old girl, it is good to see a rosy glow in your cheeks considering that dreadful business with the imminent destruction of mankind at the end of the times and whatnot. Yeah, that was pretty dreadful. Yes, indeed. Who better to distribute the exquisite arms and accoutrements than a bona fide hero such as yourself? Well, I have two parties with simply the ravenous interest in your products, dear lady. The first of whom so happens to be rather exquisite herself, my dearest lady Lani. Oh my god. Please stop. You know she doesn't like you. Be so good as to precede me to the Rose House. I shall be along promptly, of course. Just as soon as I'm coffeed and powdered. Coiffed and, uh, coiffed and powdered? I don't ever want to hear you say that again. <laughs> I'm going to go over there and I'm going to tell her, yes, here. Yo, what up? You should leave now. <laughs> Before he comes back. Yep, it's a clan. Camp Cloud Top. <laughs> oh, so I guess the Tataru request line is like, Yo, go through all of Realm Reborn again. You go to those key places in the Realm Reborn. Those good old days. Well met, Joanna. It's good to see you, Helen Hole. I mean, all of Final Fantasy XIV, I'm in Heaven's Wood areas. Thank you personally making the trip. I know your obligations are many. Truth be told, your revival could scare, could scarce have had better timing. While our erstwhile troubled relations with the Von Vano improved by the day, we have been forced to reconsider our current munitions due to recent incidents of. I have come, my Dolly Blossom, and loyal hub, behold the Manalane the Executioner, here to smite your foes with a ruthless. Uh, a door. Oh my. What the why do you have a warrior outfit on? 
Give me back my outfit. I get that outfit at level 90. Did you take that from the... What the... You took that from the... The, the delivery, didn't you? Well, I struck a with smashing silhouette, do I not? Why, well, Sigurd could not have found a better man to go, go gifty samples to. Surely, such splendid armor could be put to better use than fashion, Lord Amenaline. Could I not prevail you upon your better senses to relinquish that gear to those who might appreciate its practicality? Uh... Far be it for me to deny any request of yours, Lady Leniat. Only I must confess that I may have slightly exaggerated Sigurd's, uh, generosity in the matter of gifting these. Ah, you mean to say you borrowed them? No doubt without his knowledge or consent. Hmm. And why should I have expected that wise friends may forgive, but it bears repeating that your clients deserve at least a modicum of professionalism. You... Do have other clients, don't you? We do? Of course I have! And of no little celebrity at that. You remember the red bills, of course? Flashbacks. Those fun guys and gals. Miss them. The Sky Pirates? That an experienced adventurer should know them hardly surprises me, but how does a privileged son of House Fortem come to make their direct acquaintance? Twas a happy coincidence, an ale, uh, and of ale and circumstance, I assure you. As Joanna here can attest, an unbiased range of social contacts is essential arsenal of not just adventurers, but any gentleman of consequence. Or lady of consequence, as it were. Unbiased is all very well, but sky pirates are precisely the problem I was speaking of earlier, Joanna, before we were interrupted. Recently, self-proclaimed sky pirates have been marauding trading vessels with troubled audacity. Even the sky steel manufacturer has reported stolen property at the hands of these ruffians. Oh. Troubling news indeed, though I cannot imagine fellows as amicable as our red bills could be responsible. Yeah, they're, they're usually on the up and up. We know they're pirates, but you know what I mean. Still, if we should hear all of it, I shall send word directly. Now then, Joanna, off we trot to the infamous Perak. I have been told to seek out a certain red standard upon Coldwind. How oh, the pulse quickens! Yes! The, the pulse, it does quicken. What the hell is he talking about? Pulse quicken? Like we turn back like, bye! I was like, yeah, yeah, get, get the fuck out of here. Oh, we're here. Looks rather promising, wouldn't you say? I leave the rest of your uncanny sense of direction, old girl. To the parak we go! Let's fly to the parak. I have a sense of direction? Sure I do. Well, well, if you ate the very picture of off Joanna. Saving the star from complete annihilation didn't tax you over much, then, eh? I almost died, but yeah, sure. Gato. <laughs> Let me guess. It was not compared to the all the bowing and scrapping required of the mercantile genteel. Don't tell me that this, this dandy is what wooed you from the, the life of sweet nothings of financial comfort. Yeah, for my good man, you know as well as I that uh, the only one wooing Joanna in anything is yourself. I don't think your interest in our mutual friend here escaped my notice. Your aim all along was about was less about armaments than it was an audience with Joanna, was it not? <laughs> not bad for a dandy, eh? I might add my sights on touching the reunion between Joanna and myself, but that's not to say I won't be needing those samples. So you have a job that could ripen from both your keen sense and those pieces you've bought me. So as long as you're half the quality of what Amandaline was showing off in the alehouse uh, houses anyway. I can count on your participation, yes? You'll be duly compensated, of course. Just name your prize. 
200,000 gil for all of it. What's for necklace? For Taru Taru herself, eh? That or that too, you know, whatever. I'd have preferred something you might make use of. But uh, far be it for me to dictate what a woman does with her booty. If that's your recompense, I'll see what I can do. What a woman does with her booty. What's wrong with you? Now that we have you on board, allow me to elaborate. It seems another band of thieves has been masquerading as sky pirates and airing honest traitors as of late. Let's kick their ass! So you've heard of them. I, these so-called monsters cockatoos, don't exactly strike fear in the heart of man, but they're being a right nuisance. And now they've gone and made things personal. You remember a meal, don't you? The captain's old airship? Did I get didn't I get destroyed in the, in the Shadow of Mach quest? Well, after what happened in Dunescape, we've been commissioning their finest airship parts from across the realm the construction of her successor. Only to have those cockapurt ninkapoops privilege the very sky steel manufacturing vessel that was carrying our precious cargo. <laughs> ninkapoops. Let's go beat them up. The <laughs> nervous on people, eh? Makes me mouth water. Is that the reaction you would have to that? Your mouth watering? Of course. Once the cockatoos realized those property they pilfered, they flew into a panic and holed up in Little Shire after stashing the goods somewhere. This is where you and your samples come in. We want you to take Leofard and voice will the rest Asia. Let's make sure our friend here is still up for a spot of fowling. How about it then? My mercantile genteel is at your service. Heh. <laughs> I knew I was about to call you. Those downy ducklings won't know what plucked them. Quite so. Join a return to our new co- Our crew complete. Victory over these ne'er-do-wells is most certainly assured. Uh... But by, do you have any terrible objections if I inform the Rose Knights of your designs upon these charlatans? The Knights are affiliated with House Hel Helianate, you see, and thus have particular interests in recovering the contents of a sky steel vessel. I know the Dar um the most capable Lady Laniette simply will not rest until she has brought these scoundrels to justice. Can't say it's an alliance I've ever considered, but so long as I get all the cock the cockatoo I'm due. Our knights most stormy are welcome to catch and cage as they see fit. Splendid! Lenny Latte shall be very glad to hear of it. Overjoyed even! Yes! She may simply be unable to contain her unbounded delight! I must away! He, he's away and he just, he just jumps off the ship like woo! Not awaiting us in Little Shire, but danger and subterfuge. But such is more tempting to uh, ilk than lovely knights, eh? Let's be off. Let's win the rest of our game, but once we get there. Dude, we get to get a heist on. Let's go. Damn, he's just teleporting us here. Place to place. I'll, I'll go to Kit Sef. I, for one, am most indignant by how well he looks. He does look good. Oh my god, look at that outfit. Nice. Between Leofart holding all the shiny baubles and Kits of coveting all the maps and scrolls, the Red Pills ain't se selling much in the way of treasure lately. To be frank, we're flat broke. Sure, restoring the good name of the Sky Pirates is a matter of pride, but we simply can't afford to lose those airship parts. Oof. I think that's the Machinist's gear, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this little headgear. <laughs> Looks so goofy with the headgear on and his guys. Look at all his goggles! <laughs> Listen, Daddy, now your ass. Ha! <laughs> I reckon my reputation precedes me in these parts, and the legend of Red Bull Leofard ain't known for togs like these. Though I could get used to this. Comfortable, practical, and a sense of style to boot. And often you find that holy tried of battle in battle gear. What the line you're touting? 
which brings us to the whole role of my master plan. While it ain't easy laying low in a moldy place in like Idleshire, these gawka hoop cowards have been managing them well enough. To blow them out, we're gonna spread savory rumors of the black market merchant looking to fence fine contraband for even finer coin. That's you. Just check up a chat with adventurers or peddlers that seem to share hearsay. I'll be playing your handsome bodyguard. So rest assured, I've got your back, mistress. Mistress Joanna. I like the sound of that. I've taken the liberty of preparing you guys. It ain't as flattering as Leofarts, but you should fit the part nicely in this. Oh, I got a guys? Leofart is no company you. Oh, fuck yeah. Bro. <laughs> oh, let's get Alexander in this photo. Do I have a minion that's Kate Sif? I don't think I do. Uh, there's so many minions. It's hard to. I can just search it. Let's put Kate. No, there is no Kate Sif minion, or if there is, then I don't have it. Oh, we gotta take a photo of this. Down there. Mm, if it's too bright, then it's hard to see the Alexander in the background. Slight bit of better lighting there. Perfect. Perfect photo. In this goofy getup. <laughs> let's, let's go on out. I thought Cheap Chicks said Cheesecake. That would have been a pretty fun name though. Cheesecake for a goblin. Hello. Contra bandits. Well, I know some sketchy sky pirates near to town and just the other day I overheard them discussing their latest windfall. Ah, uh, yes. Just the sort of enterprising folk we're looking for. You think you could help us pin them down? I can. I'm no stranger to Sky Pirates, so ask around. the hell is this? <laughs> is it inside? Hang on. It's... Oh, it's in there. Dumb. I was wondering what the heck is it. It's in. 
Get in here, Leopold. Not this dude. I thought I said jovial babysitter. It's jo jovial buzzy dealer. Buzzy? Busy? Busy dealer. What the fuck is wrong with buzzy? Ah, uh, yes, yes, Gobby, I catch such sky stealers. Sky stealers come claim a busy deal, craft forge, but bring no trade goods for jungle shine. Great laugh joke for Gobby merchants. Sky stealers leave with grump face. Gobby doesn't understand why uplanders wish to trade tongue flaps with grump face sky dealers, stealers, but happy to hand lend for more laugh jokes. Much obliged. If I was a plan, we'll have you laugh joking over the store. Sorry, hi, it's for some is to come. Laugh jokes. Hi, Leah Fern. We moving. We're sh moving. Where is he? Over here? Yeah, okay. Green grub mud pots. Hello. Hello, distinguished merchant. A merchant yourself, are you? Perhaps I'm overstepping, but consider this friendly advice. Seeking out sky pirates dressed in such stereotypical garb is a a akin to dangling a sign from your neck reading, Purge my purse. Oh, the righteous red bills may pity you, dear lady, but few else. Righteous? Righteous ain't never been to, m to me like it, mate. I just can't abide them reprobates, but don't honor the creed of sky pirate. Paradin. Oh, so you can imagine, Red Bull Leofard might say, eh? Not that it's in any matter of ours. Anyhow, should you find someone looking to offload or dubiously obtain merchandise, send them our way, will you? If you insist, but not said it, would you? Especially when you come face to face with whatever brute they've hired to browbeat that for them. Oh yes, I heard the Sky Parrot lot crawling up all about an ally on pillow of strength. Veritably believed. Is it that lady? The hot lady? Who isn't really evil, she's just kind of a jerk. G girl bossin. We teamed up at the end. That dude over there was the... Uh, that dude laying on the ground, that was the dude who kept hanging on things. Apparently this area used to be not this pretty. But they kept rebuilding it every patch in Heaven's Ward. And during every patch that dude just kept hanging on shit. Always hanging. Finally got a rest. I kinda hope we have another area like the algorithm. Kill the brain. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, I kind of hope we have another area like that in the future where we're just like every time we come back, every patch just looks better and better. We haven't had stuff like that for like Shadowbringers or Endwalker. Snaps. 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 So, are we talking to town yet? As far as I can tell, you're strong contenders. Perhaps second only to the rumors about the mysterious Intimidator who's cast their lot in with the cockatoos. Well, natural that those stumbling mobs hired a browbeater. What dickhead did- Dickhead willingly courts the rancor of Red Bill Leofard. I suppose a few names come to mind, but no matter. Our plan proceeds as discussed. Sure. Let's take the streets and wait for our clients to come crawling, eh? Let's go, crew. Ba, ba, ba. Hello! Whoa there. Are you the trader looking chaffer with the monstrous cockatoos? <laughs> That's really the name. I thought you gave him a nickname. That's really the fucking name. The monstrous cockatoos? Chaffer? The scrags like you? Furry and me. I don't know. Oh, Fury and me. <laughs> furry? What? Oh, no. Fury and me. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. 
the fuck? A voice. Red Bill Leopard. Now you live and breathe. Not for long though. Let <laughs> me don't hand over what you and your dicky birds. <laughs> dicky birds. Oh, that's great. Hey, no. Ha! Let's do all you like, Red Bill. But you ain't getting the better of us this time. We treated with a we treated with a sky parrot that'll crush you to pumice. And there you were thinking this would be ever so simple, were you not, my dear Leofard? <gasps> Is it- it's the girl boss! Hello, ma'am. Nice to see you again. Not in the slightest. I was thinking surely Roddy uh, the Talons could never sink so low as become lackeys to a lackey, but here you are. I might even start to pity you. And that's where you consistently underestimate me, Red Bull. I would stop at nothing to realize my desires. Oh, would the sweet memories be made to get her into an escape not enough to convince you? But I suppose I might be willing to overlook your stubborn indifference and return those stolen airship parts you so desperately seek if you would but call me your captain. No! I own the ship, what the fuck? Yeah, completing that airship means more to me than you'll ever understand. I ain't leaving here without me stolen goods. They have no worth for covering, that is. You there, Cockalorum. You didn't leave that plunder in the wind expected territory, did you? Of course you did. And as empty as my toss pots tankard. Those airship parts are embedded with highly calibrated corrupted crystals. Put them in any contact with wind sprites and they're no better than glorified scrap. Uh, uh, ooh, wait a moment. He said contact, didn't he? How many wind sprites? Go oh, contact with rock formations of prominence, eh? Hey, it'll be fun. The daughter got the hands in the airship, yes? Take her to Providence and go pick up a stone goods. Some genius hid them under a rock. You were bluffing. Nice, smart. Obviously, don't read out your intelligence, Radia. What airship needs parts that can handle a little wind? Damn. That would you like, Leofard. I hardly need bloody airship bits to beat you into submission. I'm leaving. Finally, it's beating time. You really want to fight me? I'm literally the warrior of fucking like jo Joanna. Oh fuck this! I'm out. This is Joanna. That's indeed Joanna. What did you say? Oh, swish she for. Seems like I'm not the only one to name worth something in these parts. I'm still prettier though. Excuse me. Damn. Well then, sweet cockatoos, let's get about cutting up you cockatrees and four, shall we? That bull by himself is one thing, but Joanne is something else. Ain't nothing for it, let We're leaving! Bye! Leave your lives!
All the more pity you assumed those airship parts were the only pieces of iron taken from me and mine. No the matter, time to make your allegiance clear. If you and your talents intend to continue this far, then we'll have it out here and now, well. It seems I misjudged my prospects. I had uh, those simpletons may amount to more than shilling tarn tails, but I have neither loyalty nor affection for useless cockatoo. Still funny putting that's their names. I suppose I shall have to content myself with this reunion in itself. But you will need more clever bluffs to evade me next time. Of that you may be certain. Bye, girl. That was nice. Okay. I don't want to do this, but I have to end the stream here. I know I don't I know that this isn't probably going to be longer. It'll probably be very short to be honest, but there's a lot of noise outside going on. I had to continuously mute my mic as I was talking. So rather than deal with that, I'm going to end it right now. Um we'll finish this later. I'll leave this on the back burner. So I'll leave all these three here later. I know it's probably like two cutscenes, but literally it's just getting getting annoying to deal with. So I don't want to deal with it too much, you know? It's yeah. Sorry, we'll uh we'll go end off. Um, that's a nice pair. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk to these these folks later and end that and all of that. So bye.